Good evening once again, dear students. Today we will continue our lectures in endocrine physiology. Today we will talk about a very interesting and a very small gland, which is the pineal gland, because it has the, sh the shape of the pine, you know it, the plant pine. The pineal gland as a location is found in the brain, out of the brain barriers. It is one of five or six areas in the brain that are not uh, covered by the blood brain uh, barrier. So uh, it is found in the epithalamus, which is a part of the diencephalon between the two hemispheres of the uh, uh, cerebral uh, of the cerebrum. The interesting fact about pineal gland, which is found as we mentioned shortly in the epithalamus, is that it has the same embryological origin with the brain, but with a further development, uh, it loses its attachment with the brain and become an independent uh, gland that contain glandular cells that you see here in black color, which are called pinealocytes. Uh, in, uh, in neighboring with them, there are a lot of interstitial cells. You see here, there is also a macrophage and there is an accumulation of different minerals, especially the calcium and phosphate, which collectively are called brain sands. The brain sands are ambiguous somehow because some of uh, scientists link them to aging, others to diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, but there is still ongoing debate regarding the cause or the meaning of uh, those brain sand, sands in the pineal gland. Whatever, the pineal gland as mentioned is a small gland it about uh, as dimensions i mean three to eight uh, millimeter and its weight is only 100 milligram but in spite of that it releases an important hormone which is the melatonin and other two hormones uh, the serotonin and the dmt dimethyl tryptophan the hormone or the major hormone of the pineal gland which is melatonin is derived from the amino acid tryptophan so as classification of hormones that uh, we discussed during the previous lecture uh, it is an uh, monoamine hormone because it is a derivative of an aromatic amino acid which is the tryptophan the synthesis of melatonin in the, mini, in the pineal gland by the pinealocytes occurs through different steps. First of all, there is a step of hydroxylation of tryptophan to form the 5-hydroxytryptophan. Then there is a decarboxylation of 5-hydroxytryptophan to form the serotonin. After that, there is an acetylation of a portion of the serotonin to form uh, N-acetyl serotonin, which uh, then will be uh, methylated by uh, the process of methylation to form the melatonin. Okay, now how melatonin is released? Melatonin actually is released only in darkness because that stimulates the release of melatonin, but the light will inhibit the release of melatonin. How? It's uh, till now, till the moment which I am uh, reading this lecture, it is not well uh, clear how the light affect, but in general line, the proposed mechanism by the physiologist is as follows. The light actually stimulates the photosensitive ganglionic cells. You remember from the eye physiology that the ganglionic cells are of three population. One population, which is the largest one, is involved in the visual pathway as its uh, uh, axons, uh, which form the optic nerve, will uh, uh, decassate or cross in the optic chiasma and then continue to the uh, lateral genucleate nucleus of the hypothalamus. 
but there are all, also two smaller populations of photosensitive ganglion cells, one of which is involved in the papillary light reflex. We also discussed that in the lectures of eye physiology, but another smaller population that is called photosensitive ganglion cells that are involved in the regulation of a sleep wakefulness cycle depending on the presence or absence of light. So the light will stimulate the photosensitive ganglion cells which will inhibit the suprachiasmatic nucleus. Suprachiasmatic nucleus is a nucleus of neurons that found in the hypothalamus. In the absence of light or in the darkness, the suprachiasmatic nucleus actually stimulates the superior cervical sympathetic ganglia which will uh, stimulate the pinealocytes by the epinephrine, <coughs> sorry, and norepinephrine. Epinephrine and norepinephrine will stimulate the synthesis of enzymes that will contribute to the synthesis of melatonin. So, in the time of light, for example, the, day, uh, the daytime or the light time, there is <coughs> An effective light that is inhibitory in the suprachiasmatic nucleus, so the cervical ganglia will not stimulate the pinealocytes to release melatonin, so melatonin release is blocked in the time of light. But during the absence of light or in the darkness, this will not happen. So the suprachiasmatic nucleus will continue to stimulate the superior cervical ganglia that will release epinephrine and norepinephrine and will stimulate pinealocytes to release melatonin. Okay, so melatonin is one of the contributor to regulation of wakefulness sleep cycle, but it is not the only player here. There are a lot of factors that contribute to sleep wakefulness cycle that we uh, will, uh, that you will study in the neuroscience uh, later on. Okay, what are the functions of melatonin uh, in addition to its contribution to sleep wakefulness cycle? Actually, melatonin is an important antioxidant hormone that has an antioxidant activity that prevents the destruction of tissues and cells by the free radicals. It even, ha it even has two forms of antioxidation or antioxidant activity compared to the vitamin A, which is a powerful uh, antioxidant. Melatonin is also clinically linked uh, to different pharmacological effects such as anti-aging and immune uh, effect. The immune effect of melatonin is not well understood but uh, there are some studies that reveal the presence of melatonin receptor on the uh, immunocomponent uh, cells. Okay, uh, there is somehow a link between the uh, onset of melatonin release in childhood because uh, melatonin release become regular uh, in the third month of life and there is a hypothesis that the melatonin actually suppress the gonadotropin hormones, especially the luteinizing hormone. For that, it is supposed that the suppression of sexual activity in children may due to the melatonin. This is one of hypotheses. In uh, uh, another fact, that melatonin is also. Uh, linked to what is known as seasonal depression or winter depression in uh, countries that uh, there are uh, long winters such as Sweden or Scandinavian uh, this is uh, or this is this is due to the fact that there are uh, an excessive melatonin release which will uh, decrease the serotonin release because serotonin is converted into melatonin the, so, the serotonin will not uh, function as a mood regulator, as you know. Okay, uh, in addition to the serotonin, 
which uh, has functions such as mood regulation, uh, appetite regulation, and other functions. There is also a hormone that is released by the pineal gland, which is the DMT, dimethyl tryptophan. This hormone is released only in case of severe trauma or in gasping before dying. Why? Because it decreases the pain, but it causes a hallucination. Uh, this hallucinogenic effect of DMT uh, unfortunately uh, inspire uh, some people to produce the well-known drug DMT which has a hallucinogenic, a hallucinogenic, a hallucinogenic effect. Uh, that's all about the pineal gland. See you in the next lecture. God bless.